Hello Taurus, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for you for messages that you're needing to hear right now. These are going to be messages of love, light, truth, healing, news, prediction, answers, clarity, guidance, um, any other messages that you're needing to hear right now. And yeah, alright. <laughs> That's about it. If you'd like a personal reading, you can one with me on my website which is linked in the description also any other information that you need is also in the description and yeah okay so let's see what messages we have for Taurus today what is going on for Taurus what are we saying to Taurus today what are we talking about today for Taurus? Okay, Eight of Cups, walking away from something. All right, show me more. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. All right, show me more. Someone's walking away from something. Um, didn't serve them. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like what... It's like you have to take a look at what has manifested, what has come of this, whatever is being walked away from. It's like someone isn't getting what they want, what they deserve. Someone's getting breadcrumbs. You know, it's time to take inventory of what's been manifested with this situation. So someone's seriously considering ending something, either with a relationship, a person, or a job. Something where something, there wasn't enough reciprocation here. Okay, show me more. The Taurus. Show me more for Taurus. Yeah, the tower. Yep. So there's a breakup. Someone's deciding to leave someone because they don't get what they deserve. You know, they aren't getting reciprocated energy. Someone's putting too has put too much into something that they're not getting anything back, or they're not getting the right energy back, or something like that. So um, this deck here. Actually, it was sent to me by um, the person who created the deck, and it was it's, it was actually a really nice gesture. And she sent it, and I took a look, and I really like it. Um, it will be linked in the description. It's called the Priestess of the Goddess Oracle um, card deck. <laughs> it's a really nice deck. It's really colorful. There's a lot of really awesome cards in here. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to use it to get some messages for you right now. Um, just some messages in regards to this. For you, Taurus. Alrighty. Alright, can I have some more messages for Taurus in regards to the situation? Messages for Taurus in regards to the situation. Inner power. Use the power of the forces within yourself to manifest great change. Yes. Oh my gosh. But can I pick them up? <laughs> yeah. All right. Connecting with your inner power to make um, really good decisions for yourself is what I want to say. Okay. Show me more. Inner beauty. Wow. Lots of inner inner stuff here yeah connecting with your inner power and your inner beauty indulge yourself in life's pleasures and recognize the beauty within yourself yeah lots of self-love taking charge okay show me more the Taurus what else are we sure yeah look at that dominate yeah <laughs> uh, learn to dominate the thoughts in your head take charge of your life wow that's beautiful take charge of your life Exactly. Yeah. Taking your power back. Yeah. Not allowing, you know, feeling like, oh, someone might be afraid to walk away because they're like, oh, well, I'll be alone. The thing is, is like, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay if you're alone. It's, it's about connecting with your inner ability to provide your, give yourself enough love, enough attention, enough of everything that you need. There could be something about codependency here, um, with energy, um, yeah, needing to give yourself all of that and not being afraid to make certain decisions because, um, of what someone else is providing for you. Um, and yeah, dominate, take, um, take charge of your life here. 
Um, all right, so let's get some more messages for you. All right, please um, give me some more messages for Taurus. What else? What else is needing to be said to Taurus? What other messages do we have for Taurus? The magician, yeah. Your inner power, look at that, the magician. Connecting with that inner power. Your inner power to manifest too. Manifest great blessings to come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have the power is what I just heard. <laughs> you do have the power. You have all the power in the world to walk away from what isn't serving you. Okay, all right, please show me more. Yeah, connecting with your inner divine masculine too. Definitely. Please show me more messages for Taurus. <laughs> so friggin' funny. I was just thinking of the high priestess. I was like, I was like, what if the high priestess comes out? And here's the high priestess. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, connected with your your intuition. Like seeing, I was thinking because inner beauty. I was just like feeling like. I don't know. I just feel like you should you should connect with your intuition, connect with your inner power. Clearly, you're a very powerful being. Clearly, you're just needing to connect with the gifts you already have. The lovers popping out here. Yeah, you're a very very powerful being. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is definitely. This is definitely something that's going to, this is a situation that's going to be changing you, whatever you're walking away from. It even could be a mindset that isn't serving you, that you're walking away from, that you are awakening yourself to the fact that something is coming from the ego or holding on to something is coming from the ego. And this tower, and it, it, this tower might be shocking and it might be a big change, but it's kind of like, it's really positive because it's enhancing your um, awakening. It's enhancing your uh, awakening to your, your own abilities. Yeah, so getting aligned with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies within you. Mm -hmm. Manifest great change. Yeah, so there's something that you're needing to see intuitively that's something... It's like, you, it's like something is trying to push you in a certain direction, but there's a level of fear involved. But if you're connecting with your intuition, you'll be able to see clearly um, like what you're trying to be pushed towards. So it's like you might be feeling the push to go towards a certain direction, but you're afraid because you're not seeing the potential of it. But this, there's a message about seeing that potential. Okay, please show me more. The Taurus. What is that? It didn't really come out. Yeah, there's some anxiety and there's fear and it's kind of like someone might be letting that get to the best of them. Please show me more. The Taurus. Father of Cups, okay. What's what's this about? Some masculine water energy. Show me more about the Father of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be a new this is a this is a new opportunity. This is a new beginning with a masculine energy. Could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There's a new opportunity manifesting with this masculine energy. Um, okay. If it's the same person, then this walking away of would have already happened in the past here. Um, but this could, be, this is new. This is a new, this is, a, this is an ace, ace of pentacles. So this is a new situation with this father of cups. Um, show me more about this, please. the moon <laughs> it's a secret so this is someone that I want to say you desire <laughs> lots of water energy here um, what I want to say about this is this is someone that you desire but it doesn't feel like it's the it's not the person that you're walking away from but it, this could also be a mindset that you're walking away from but either way there's some new situation coming about with the father of cups it's something that someone desires. 
Hmm. Okay, there's even something about a baby too. A pregnancy or something like that, a child. Okay. Show me more about this. What is the message with this here? For Taurus. What is the message here with Taurus? Six of Cups. This is soulmates. Okay, yeah, so connecting with a soulmate here. Yeah, so if you're being pushed out of one connection, you could be being pushed towards another connection. Um, and it's a divine connection. It's soulmates. It's like this is what something was trying to prepare you for, trying to push you towards. Okay, please show me more for the children with this person. Please show me more for Taurus. Yeah, Nine of Cups, so you wish, you desire them, you wished for them, you could know them, you could just, you, you, these, the character traits of this person or the situation with this person is something that you wished for. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know, this is someone that someone desires, whether they're aware of what this, who this person is or not. It's desired, it's wished for. Okay, yeah, so that's what someone is moving towards here. Mm-hmm. Someone could have needed to, um, like, someone went through, like, a tower-like situation and it was really difficult, but it was kind of like things were moving you towards a very positive situation all along. That type of energy is kind of what I'm getting. I kind of want to get another message for you from this deck, though, before I finish the reading. But yeah, this is a beautiful deck and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Alright, please. Um, can I have another message for Taurus, please? Can I have more messages for Taurus? What else are we needing to share with Taurus? Just say to Taurus or let Taurus be able to become aware of. Ancestors. Okay. It's time to work with the spirit of your ancestors. Heal your past. Wow, these are really similar colored. Heal your past. Yeah. Heal your past. You could be connecting with a specific ancestor as well. Guardian angel that you're aware of. Okay. Might benefit you to start working with your ancestors, um, but heal your past. Yeah. So this if the situation is in your past, heal it because that's that's what is being worked through so that blessings um, with this new connection can be unlocked. All right. Can I have um, another message for Taurus? You also could be dealing with some family karma um, and you could be going through um, cycles that are within your family. Wow, yeah, spiritual awakening, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly the path that you're on here. It's quite obvious um, for whoever I'm reading for. You are awakening to your priestess self and your true magical abilities. Yes, yeah, exactly. And this there, this situation, could there could also be a really big lesson in your spiritual abilities. Also about connecting with a divine counterpart, there could be messages about that as well, um, where you are your connection with a divine counterpart has helped you with your own spiritual abilities, which is very common. Um, all right. Yeah, oh, that's obvious to me that someone is going through spiritual awakening here um, and getting stronger with their abilities because of something they went through. Please show me more for Taurus. Please give me another message for Taurus. Wow. <laughs> All right, initiation. You have shamanic power within you. A rite of initiation is taking place. Yes. So you're definitely leveling up. You're going through this ego death and this tear down of your ego. There could have been a lot of towers going on for you. A lot of things being torn down. A lot of things being unfair. Having to walk away from a lot of things. That could be going on quite a bit. And it's kind of like someone had to... Um, 
someone in in those worst times or in those difficult times really was being pushed towards connecting within their with the power within we have two inners here in the cards it, it's obvious that you're connecting with an in, internal power but it's kind of like it's just it's ushering you into a whole new level of awakening uh, shamanic powers within you you might want to look into that I want to look into shamanic healing and stuff like that Anything you're called to look into, you should look into it. All right. Yeah, maybe one more. One more message for Taurus. I really like this deck. <laughs> one more um, message for Taurus. Devotion. Devote time to a daily spiritual practice. A period of spiritual study is required. Yeah, there's the, yeah. there might be some topics that you're being guided to look into. Definitely follow the, those little tidbits follow the intuition to look into things or if you keep seeing something suggested or something definitely look into that those things um things that you just feel naturally called to maybe even egypt you know with this being the egyptian priestess um but it's saying that there's there's uh, there's a need to incorporate some sort of daily practice of something that's um Something that either, I want to say, I guess, educates you. Something that educates you, learning something, but also something that raises your vibration and, and clears your energy a little bit. Um, there might be a need to add more um, rituals to your daily life. Um, and yeah, a period of spiritual study too. So there could be something that it's calling you to look more into or study more of. Alrighty, Taurus. So thank you so much. Lots and lots of love to you. I really hope that if this reading resonated with you, that it provided you with guidance or clarity on your situation. Again, if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so on my website, which is linked in the description, along with the um, link to this deck. If you'd like to purchase this deck from the author, her name's Tara. Um, yeah, so that'll all be in the description. And again, thank you. And again, lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.